Hey guys, I'm Shannon, and my husband Jason and I host a life group. Hi, and I'm Maria, and my husband Pete and I are life group leaders. So life group season is here. Are you ready? I don't know. I'm a little bit excited, but there's also some aspects that are overwhelming. Oh, yeah? Um, like, you know, there's just so many personalities and people filling your house again, and that can be overwhelming, and sometimes people are... So have you been to Costco in a while? It's been a while for me. You should totally go. The last time we were there, we got so many things. You definitely should think about getting like lots of the chickens, not just one chicken, but we get like four chickens and then you can put them in the freezer. Also dog food, cat food, store up on it, toilet paper, Kleenexes, peanut butter. We love the crunchy peanut butter and fruit, the fruit. We like getting the blueberries, the frozen blueberries, the mangoes. You have like the oversharer, the person who talks too much the arguer, the person who never shares. Yeah, it can be overwhelming, you know, but, but I think we're ready. Summer was a nice long break and I'm ready to pour into people's lives and to be poured into by other people, I think. Yes, you know, that's one thing I really like about Life Group is that my kids have a place to see other adults uh, who love Jesus and how they live out their faith. I'm so thankful my kids can see that, not just Pete and I. Yeah. Life group season has started. The kids. Yeah, especially all the whiny, annoying ones that make such big messes. And the bossy ones. What are you <laughs> saying? Oh, and, and the parents. I forgot about all the kids. There's a lot of kids in the house. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to kid-proof the house again. But that's okay. I love having them come over. I love being able to pour into them and, and seeing them grow up. Yeah, I know my kids really enjoy being with you and Jason. And we love your kids. We live up here without any family, and so it can be really overwhelming homeschooling and taking care of the kids. It feels like I'm all by myself. But when we go to Life Group, you and Jason and everyone in our Life Group pour into Look what I love made! So oh, wow, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness, where are your pants? Did you bring your pants? I love this. This is oh so my great. I love she it. Put that on the floor. Awesome. Let me go oh, get them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Where were we? I don't know. We're oh, we're talking about life groups. Life groups, right. Yeah. What's in your hair? Oh, my goodness, <laughs> kids. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going to have to start cleaning my house again. Oh, I don't envy you there. <laughs> Oh, just the idea of thinking about cleaning for life group every week makes me want to take a nap, like, right now. Oh, I bet so. Babe, have you cleaned the toilet yet? But it all looks great. It's no, you, I've never seen your house messy. So. Thanks, and you and Pete do a really great job of guiding the life group and leading it and keeping us on track, so super appreciative of that. I'm glad that we have that partnership. It's going to be a great year. I think so. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having a group of people to be surrounded by to help us get through the long, cold, dark winters of Alaska. It's nice to have a group to pray with, to be able to call someone if you need to go out, um, like for a cup of coffee, or you just need a friend to go have dinner with, or if you need help, if somebody moves, or there's some project going on in your house, it's nice to have that go-to team of people. So, yeah, yeah, very true. Growing in Christ together is fun.